It's crucial to know which tool to use in any given situation. This applies to online privacy too. And today you're gonna find out why using Tor is not the same as using a VPN. But first, for more online privacy and anonymity tools, reviews, and news, hit subscribe and ring that bell. Tor versus VPN. Both are designed to protect your privacy online and keeps you anonymous. So many people think that these tools are basically the same, except that Tor is free. However, there may be some similarities in what these tools do, but they are actually really different. So I'm going to tackle the myth that using Tor is basically the same as using a VPN. I'm going to explain the crucial differences between these tools and when to use either one. So VPN or Tor? Firstly, is Tor safe to use? Tor is famous for hiding users' online identity. It makes your internet traffic genuinely anonymous. It's quite secure, given you're not being followed by someone with a lot of resources. In those cases, it's best to stay away from Tor, which can be compromised in certain situations. Well, is VPN safe to use then? To answer this question and really show you the difference between these tools, I'm going to do a quick comparison of Tor browser versus VPN. Tor works by routing your traffic through a maze of servers hosted by other Tor users. Your traffic is encrypted, but only until it reaches the last server or node. It's the last node job to decrypt the traffic and send it on the website you're visiting. Whoever owns the exit node can technically see your data, but they don't know who or where you are because they're the last stop in the chain. Since these nodes are operated by volunteers, however, they can really be set up by anybody, which means if you have the resources, you could control a large enough chunk of the network to de-anonymize the traffic. Are VPNs safe then? When you use a VPN, your traffic is routed through at least one server, and your data is also hidden behind encryption. The AES 256-bit encryption method used in currently impossible to unscramble, so your data is safe if it gets intercepted. The crucial difference is there are no volunteer servers involved, which means only the VPN known anything about you, and they often operate under strict no-logs policy. Also, Tor only protects your browser traffic, while a VPN protects all your internet traffic on multiple devices. Tor versus VPN, which is better at keeping you anonymous. It turns out both tools are great at it. Although spies may be able to de-anonymize traffic by controlling lots of exit nodes, without a whole lot of resources that only large corporations or governments have, this situation is purely theoretical. VPNs also protect your anonymity by making it look like your traffic is coming from the server you connected to instead of your real location. And while shady VPNs can take advantage of you, the top ones won't. If you want to know which is which, we have reviewed lots of great VPNs on this channel that you can choose from. With the VPN multi-hop feature, you can even route your traffic through several VPN servers for added layers of protection. Almost like Tor does, but faster. More on that in a few seconds. Tor doesn't come with any additional security features. You can set it up to be used with obfuscation, but it's not so straightforward. VPNs, on the other hand, come with a range of spicy security extras like these. Additionally, there's the question of speed. And one of these tools is definitely faster. Tor significantly slows down your traffic because it's being routed through all those servers and at random, meaning your data can be thrown to Australia and Brazil in one go. Never mind that you are in UK. You can imagine how long that is going to take. A VPN's encryption process does take time. But VPNs typically route your traffic through only one extra server. And this server will usually be better quality because it's not a random device some volunteers running in the attic. VPNs can even speed your traffic up by preventing bandwidth throttling, assuming your ISP is engaging in this nasty practice. The quality of the VPN does make a massive difference here though. Both VPNs and the Tor browser are easy to install. However, Tor often requires extra configuration before you can use it to the fullest, and this can get complicated. Connecting with a VPN on the other hand is often a one-click process. Unfortunately, free VPNs pose a security risk, so you have to pay for most VPNs that are worth having. Prices range from around $2 per month with longer subscriptions to around $10 with one month subscriptions. Tor, on the other hand, is totally free. Streaming. 
Tor struggles with streaming. It can bypass some geo restrictions, but the random location of the exit node will make accessing a specific country a literal gamble. Besides, it's not only really slow, but also gets detected and blocked by bigger media platforms like Netflix. VPNs, on the other hand, are great for streaming because a good VPN can access restricted content and is fast enough to stream seamlessly. Sometimes, services like Netflix block some of the VPN IPs, but with a good VPN, changing the server will help. Sadly, Tor doesn't support P2P traffic. Most nodes entirely block this type of traffic, and Tor just doesn't have the capacity to support high bandwidth like that. VPNs are an excellent choice for torrenting, because many top VPNs allow P2P on all servers, or have a list of specially optimized torrenting servers, as well as juicy extras like a free Soxify proxy or a whitelisting feature. Guys, it's also important to know that the government may be able to see when you're using Tor, because this browser is sometimes used for illicit activities. You run the risk of becoming a target for suspicion and surveillance, but that mostly applies only if you are part of the volunteers who host nodes for Tor. So if you've been wondering, is Tor browser safe or not, should you pick VPN or Tor? VPNs are generally safer, definitely faster, and more versatile. You can see that Tor and VPNs are not the same. So which VPNs to pick? Some of you have been asking, is NordVPN safe? If you need a VPN, you're safe with NordVPN. It's one of the best providers on the market. Along with these other services, they are great for both beginners and advanced users. They provide great speeds and good security while being extremely versatile in their features. Go ahead and check out the hot deals running right now on all these VPNs. The link is in the description. While you're down there, please drop me a note on the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on VPN or Tor, which tool you can use and why. For your weekly dose of VPN news and tutorials, go ahead and sub and ring that bell. Thanks for watching.